This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network. I'm at the annual European Congress of Rheumatology speaking to Professor Paul Emery from the University of Leeds. Uh, Professor Emery, you were speaking today about having patients who had a low disease activity on combined adalimumab methotrexate treatment and then randomizing them to withdraw the adalimumab. And what did you find when you were doing that? We found that on the whole, the patients did extremely well and maintained their responses. Uh, in fact, it was only between 4 and 10 percent uh, had any deterioration at all in their, their outcomes, suggesting that these patients had reached a state where the uh, adalimumab had actually induced uh, uh, low disease activity which could be maintained with methotrexate alone. There were some that, that didn't do as well and our task now is to try and find out which patients those are and the next study will hopefully address that. And so what do you see as the implications of this finding in terms of a optimal way to use biologics in treating patients with rheumatoid arthritis? The key finding really means that you, if you start with a biologic first line, you're not um, taking on biologic for life and you can probably stop it in the majority of patients. So if you are getting better results from the combination of biologic and DMARD, then you pr should probably use that combination and not worry that you will have to maintain it forevermore. Mm -hmm. And so this fits into a paradigm you've been working on of treating early in the course with the biologic and then you perhaps know that you can then withdraw yeah. it after a few months. Yeah, the whole key is to treat patients when they're still completely reversible, hit them as hard as you can safely and then hopefully at that stage one could withdraw it and have a, a profound effect that isn't available later. Thank you Professor Emery for Global Medical News Network. This is Mitchell Zoller.